What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Kind of Funny Pod. I'm one of your hosts, Greg Miller, alongside. Who is that? Who is? God! Was that you, that was Kevin? Me, that was, was, me, that? was me. Was what happened? Start, what I, went I wrong? Gonna, nothing. I was just drinking water. So, Andy, right wrong. before the show started, <laughs> right before the show started, you asked me, "Hey, man, what kind of pizza did you get?" And I went, "Oh, man, I fucked up, Andy. I fucked up." And here's what happened: I went to order my normal favorite pizza: sausage, bell pepper, onions. And when they when I went to hit onions, it had fucking three options: yellow onions, red onions, and green oh, no. onions. I don't. And like I this. was like, doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> They're all the same to because. me. So I just hit like the first one, which was green onions. Turns out green onions very different. Very yeah, scallions, different. Oh. Scallions, scallions, you know. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. scallions. The pizza. Would you, you love them on a sausage pizza? pizza? <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't. I like scallions, great. like you know, in my ramen or yeah. Where, <laughs> oh, I love it. In you my know, ramen. with with you know stir fried beef or something. Yeah, that's and that's kind the of thing. I know what kind of. green onions are, but in the moment, in the moment, I was just like, Phew, green onions. Phew. Chicken soup's good for this all, you know. Yeah. That's what yeah. <laughs> Well, Sometimes you gotta just shoot the shot. You gotta let it. You gotta let it net out on its own. You know, see uh-huh. what happens. Get out there. You throw the spiral. Is a shark gonna catch it or a dog? Who knows? <laughs> Who I hope, knows? A shark. I hope Are a we shark. at the beach? Are we in the park? Real talk. We've made, a, we've made a lot of decisions here. Kind of funny uh, of <laughs> yeah. scheduling and when to do things. And one of the biggest choices we made in 2021 was to record a kind of funny podcast on Friday afternoons. Yeah. And we are going into this one so hot, so ready for some action that before this went live, Andy was working on a thumbnail and he Googled headline. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was like, Greg, I, I need help with this thumbnail. I'm, you know, I'm having kind of trouble with it. I'm kind of creatively spent right now. And he said, okay, well, what's the title? And I said, it's blah, blah, blah. And he said, okay, well, what's the headline? And I was like, I don't know. And I just went into Google and Googled headlines. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and it popped, sure up, it popped up with a yeah, Fox News thing and some random images. And I was like, what am I looking at right now? Like my brain had a disconnect <laughs> like, what, what of like, what are you looking at right See, here? See, I think this is going to pay, this is going to pay huge dividends though. Mm-hmm. Because yeah, mm-hmm. this is, you know, we switched, we were used to be doing an in review right now, but we switched the in review and the kind of funny podcast to be this here. Not doing and, right now. You know, well, then I, we decided we wanted to be able to keep you on another six months, Kevin. I don't All right? Want to. If it, this is the cost, I'm <laughs> fucking with Kevin. <laughs> I'm with Kevin. I'm with Kevin. We quit. But what I like yeah. about it is we all have yeah that end of week Friday energy. This is the perfect podcast to go into the weekend m- vibes with, right? Of us just fucking around, being friends, mm-hmm. blowing off steam or whatever. And then it'll publish on Monday mornings. Mm-hmm. So right as everybody's dejected and going back to the salt mines, they get to listen to us morons being excited about all this stuff. They won't even know that Nick uh, twisted his ankle skateboarding this weekend yeah it was wow. so radical breaking his own rules over 30 don't do it nick i was also i was crazy i was skateboarding and djing at the same time that was the problem oh damn <laughs> oh, man yeah now in your yeah. head how, how do fire. you have how do you have the dj turntables rigged while you're on the skateboard is it like uh, i i see it as like you have like the drum attached to you like exactly when you're marching the band. quad the quad exactly that's what they two, call it there and the problem is though like i wanted i saw a group of of, of like my peers Youth. you know my my contemporaries the 22 year olds sure and i was like yo what's up fellow 22 year old young people and i was i was face forward greg but then i turned to say they what's up to them and just give them a little so <laughs> and then i hit a rock and that's what <laughs> happens <laughs> Now, now here's I, what I here, love. No, this, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. A lot. Go for it, Greg. Sorry, because this is important, and I think you're going to be the star here. Great. Andy and Tim. Uh-huh. Nick talked about DJing. It made me think of a song from a Nintendo DS game. What, what song is in my head right now? Andy, we'll start with you. I, I don't. Tim, we'll <laughs> go to you. I, I have no idea. Some type of rhythm heaven heaven game. You're getting warmer. DJ uh, Elite Beat Agents. Yes, it is Elite mm. Beat Agents. Okay. I mean, I so Walkie game, Talkie right? Man. Hey, walkie Talkie Man. Oh, I God. knew you'd get it, Tim. Wow. Jeez, I don't know my Walkie that Talkie. Means. That's what I need right now. Uh, everybody who's talented in the audience, I need you to come up with a animated Nick uh, DJing on a skateboard while Walkie Talkie Man plays. Thank you. Wow. We will wait. Extra credit if you can do it in dreams. Thank you very much, Tim. Back to you. Um, I just want to say, Nick, I, I love that you have many lists. Nick, if anything, has lists. Usually they come in threes, right? The, mm-hmm. Those are three-finger lists. There's all that. There's the Nick's list of 80s uh, fears Dangerous that he has, things, yeah. obviously. Scary things. On top of that, Lasers. there's just the, the general rules of life. Always wear a condom. Right. Uh, don't shit where you eat. Like, all that right. stuff, right? But here, there's only two. There's the two don't do this after 30. Don't do 
with this? On the list, we have skateboarding and DJing. I need yeah. a third. What is the third Nick Scarpino pillar of things to not do after you're 30? I don't know. I mean, I, I thought a lot about this because obviously most humor comes in, thir- in threes. Um, I'll spit, but if you want to spitball for me, I'll Let's say do like, don't, maybe don't take up art. You know, art. after 30, like art, don't like, you know, like take up art. One of these things is not like the others. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know what I mean? Andy, you like, like people, painting? people don't always paint? go, yeah, I'm going to start painting as a hobby. And Andy just goes, no, dude, no, you're not going to fucking stick with it. You're going to have all the painting supplies down in your garage. They're going to be fucking dried out. It's not going to matter. And then also you're going to ship that and no one's going to want to hang that art. No one's going to want to hang the art. True. That's true. Yeah. People might accept it because they feel bad it's like more of a sympathy sort of acceptance like oh yeah. thank you this isn't so nice of you to give me this yeah but but really they're just like what like that per they need help right now yeah you know Don't what i mean it. um but obviously like that's not on on par with my hatred of people who who dj and, and wear backward hats hatred. and skateboard uh past 30 okay, what, so, so i backward hats is that it yeah, but I do that sometimes, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna exclude that 100. percent That's a 98 percent exclusion rate right there. Uh, sometimes I like to throw the hat on backward a little bit there, but uh, let us let us see it. You can't just tease. Throw us the like hat that. on backwards. Yeah, come on. There it is. Here it is. There he is. <laughs> He's right. That does look dumb. Get on the skateboard. <laughs> <laughs> Play some walkie talkie, man. Old man. <laughs> Easy. Hey, I'm learning. I'm learning. Craig, would you like to hear it right now? Yeah. Would you like to hear it right now? Okay, hold on. I can, I'm, it's it's not gonna one be and good. a two and a three and a four. He's killing it. Mm. I kind of fucked up, but you know what I mean. The that general really idea great. is there. Yeah. General idea is there. Tim, why do we never get another Elite Beat Agents? That's a really good question. Now, uh, is everyone here familiar with Elite Beat Agents? Not in the least. Okay. I, is that the one? Is that, a, wait, okay. Sorry. Is that the one where you go in and you're a lawyer and you have to no, like, Phoenix try Phoenix right. That's no, Phoenix right. Okay. Elite Beat Agents is the American version of a Japanese game uh, that gameplay wise is very similar. It's essentially it's a music rhythm game where on the bottom screen there are enclosing circles that as soon as like the the, the circle perimeter gets around the full circle you're supposed to tap and then they dance in different ways and there are these special agents that are affecting a story that is playing out on the top screen and depending on how good you do you're either helping the story progress or you're fucking things up Got it. um but it is amazing i freaking love it one of my favorite games of all time but more than that one of my favorite uh mega 64 videos of all time kev if you could please play this this is from uh, 2009, which even that can't be right. It must have been uploaded on you. Have you seen this, Greg? No, I have not seen this. I don't oh, know what we're about to is. get. Mega it's, 64. Can we just say it? They don't get enough credit. You they know don't. what I mean? They really do. Hilarious. Don't. The originators. They don't. It, and they're still It's going to be one of those things when they eventually stop. I think that's when people will kind of realize, damn, we didn't have time to smell the roses. We didn't appreciate them while we had them. We didn't get to All smell right. them while they were still alive. Yeah. <clears throat> sure. Now, Jesus. I will say... This is this is not the original song. This is this is a, a version that they made covered, so we should be fine. DMC is sure. now loading. Elite Beat Agents. Nick, you watching? Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> Look at all these guys fishing around him. They just got in. They hate it. I love that they've made an attempt to blur some people's faces out with like the with the the bar, but then everyone else they don't care. They didn't get you know. I'm sure they went through and got their entire. They thing. did. They did not get releases from any of these people. This scroll is scroll further, Kev. <laughs> oh, <laughs> they like end no. up going into restaurants. <laughs> I love these fuckers, man. It's so cr- cool that Mega 64 like just merged. This stuff I would have loved to have done. Like when me and Poe were running around the camcorder around DuPage County doing stupid videos and like thought stuff we thought was pranks. This is just you go in a purse shop and start dancing, making fun of a lead. Oh, it's a shoe shop. Lead like, agents. All right, you can stop it, Kev. But Greg, what you just said is so accurate. Like, how specific of an audience is this? But yet millions of people. Can They're still going. They're still around. They're friends with Hideo. You know what I mean? They made it happen. <laughs> it's so good, man. Andy, uh, we need another Elite Beat Agents. I love and that we they need are, more Mega 64. I love mm-hmm. that they're friends with so many high-profile you know, uh, people in the game development world. Because when they're sure. in on the joke, it makes it so much better. Yeah. yeah. Totally. 
they did Konami's press conference, the infamous Konami transferring press conference. <sighs> yeah. Somebody had to. They did. Someone had to. It was Vegas 60 fucking four. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <sighs> I love that. Uh, like, I think I started. I don't even remember. I'm Greg. That's the producer slash seducer in the backwards hat, Nick Scarpino. Hey, my new uh, <laughs> DJ album comes out soon. It features nothing but Ariana Grande remix songs. I've been there all night. Is that Ariana Grande? Yeah, also, yeah. yesterday he heard the word Ariana Grande on another <laughs> podcast that we did. I, no, I, Tim I said that Ariana yeah. Grande was having her <laughs> renaissance. She was she was in the middle of her industrial age or whatever it was, but then the industrial obviously, age. what was it? What was it? What was it? Imperial age. Imperial um, age. Yes. And yes. so the, today I was listening to Spotify's top hits as I I popped out to as you did. just popped out to grab a little uh, a little lunch for myself and the missus. And obviously thirty four plus thirty five or whatever the song's name is is on that list always because anytime she does anything it's on the top Spotify list. So I listened to it and I was like, yeah, I could remix this. Or I could not. I that's could the remix power. this. Wicka, that's wicka. the power of the DJ, Tim. You could just play the song too. People are like, "Well, he is doing his job. He's just playing the song. That's what a disc jockey does." God, yeah, so uh, a disc jockey. Mm-hmm. Nick Scarpino, the disc for. jockey. That's what it stands for. That's what, what it you stands say, for. When you say DJ, whatever you're saying, what you're really saying is disc jockey, whatever. <laughs> if it's DJ Tim, it's disc jockey Tim. I love that's it. That's right. I Surprised you didn't know that, Tim. Uh, Forbes 30 under 30, a.k.a. the second best baby blues in San Francisco, a.k.a. the DJ of SF. I mean, that's at Tim what they call me. Look at how stupid I look in this backward hat. Don't I look like I'm trying to be young? Well, your, your headphones were off when you did it, and you did, but as soon as you did it and looked at the camera, I said, oh, it does look really stupid. And that's not a critique on you. You're right. You're right about backwards hats. I just uh, I look like an Andy's favorite quote where it's Steve Buscemi from, uh, yeah. from that. Sup, fellow kids. Yeah, what's up, fellow? <laughs> what's up, fellow kids? That's what I look like right now. I look like I'm trying to be young, and then you put me next to Andy, and it looks like a newborn babe. And he's I think beautiful. It, no, man, I think it looks cool. I think is it looks cool, fine. Andy? Yeah. Are you, say, are you like, now? No, are you yeah. Saying that like, because you want to make fun of me behind my back? No, no, no. He was saying it because, like, earlier today, he, what he I think this came up earlier on the other stream, and he was like, "It's not backwards hats that make people look old. It's when they twitch stream first person shooters and try to act like they're good at them." <laughs> <laughs> so wait, the key, wait, the key is acting the like stuff. they're good at him. Is that what? <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's the key? Okay, oh, cool. So I'm sorry. You're, you're fine. You're fine. Yeah, you're okay. fine. You're, no, you real, real talk. I, I am anti backwards hat. I always just kind of have been inherently. But like you, I don't hate it on you. I also they understand it's a novelty. Right. You know, so. I'm not going to do it all the time, but I said that about the beanie the one time, and now the beanie is like the thing that now it's like spreading. Now Tim does the beanie. I, Kevin did the beanie. Got it. Everyone's doing the beanie. I have a Butterfinger beanie. There's a time and place where Fox News uh, analyst Colin Cowherd would get mad at all the young quarterbacks when they would wear backwards hats because he'd be like, you're not taking this job seriously enough. You're wearing a backwards hat. You know, you're supposed to be the quarterback of the team. It's clearly you don't care. And he would say that about Tony Romo. Look, we got the backwards hat on. And then recently, the quarterback for the Browns is like this young guy who would always wear his backwards hat. And they, he's always shit talking this Colin mm-hmm. Cowherd guy from Fox Sports on Twitter. Mm-hmm. And he finally he made the playoffs and he sits down in front of the conference and he's wearing his hat frontwards. He's like, oh, wait, one second. And he puts it backwards. <laughs> just says like, a, I'm, I'm making I'm going to the next round of the playoffs and I wear my hat backwards. Now, eat that shit, Colin Cowherd. And it was a really cool moment. It was a cool. That's cool. Did he say Hell eat that yeah. shit? He said, eat that shit, Colin Coward, is what he said. Did you get fired? Yeah, I was going to find him. Wow. Mm-hmm. You don't see that kind of fine. Just toss that willy nilly. <laughs> they do, oh, yeah. Are we going to make that kind of money for FCF stuff? No, I was going to say, in the FCF, you want to call anybody a shithead or talk about shit, they, they'll just give you a pass to the gas station. Go down there and get yourself a scratcher, all right? And they don't mind. A, p- a pass to the gas station? <laughs> what? Like a bus pass? <laughs> you get on a bus? Or? We just said, all right, it's 319 on a Friday. <laughs> it's been 18 hour like, work days I just, every no, I just day. Know, Greg, is, is the FCF right next to, is it like there's like a hallway <laughs> in between the FCF and the gas station? You yeah, get a hall the, pass the to pass. go to the gas yeah, station. Yeah, you, you, well, you got to leave the bubble. You know, you got to leave the bubble that they're yeah, in. Yeah, totally. Right. Oh, so, right, right, right. right. Of course, okay, that makes right. perfect sense when you think about it that way. Uh, mm-hmm. Rounding out the quartet, he's the Hispanic heartthrob Texas treat Latino heat, clicking heads and ripping them to shreds. The globe trotting, head shotting, nitro rifle from twitch.tv. Andy Cortez. I had some sour bright trolley worm candies. Yeah, sure you sour. did. Yeah. Um, I just can't find them. Damn. <laughs> Didn't expect that. Oh, wow. 
Out of all the things that could have been. Yeah. That was a twist. Yeah, I can't find them, unfortunately. They're delicious, though. They're in the living room. I had a little uh, funny moment with our dog, Lulu, the yeah. dog of the house. Lulu. I was going to say, are you claiming ownership <laughs> of it now, too? No, God, no. Um, although she had to have a lot of medical uh, the procedures done, and, and yeah. uh, I s- s- slipped the list a little, a little 100 spot. So you had a little, little extra 100 for, for the Oh, you threw in there. You're, like, trying well, to be, yeah, like, a benefactor. I added more onto my rent. I added more onto my rent. I was like, I just feel bad. Like, I, I clearly get to enjoy a lot of the Lulu. But sure. the I'm not paying nice for any of the Lulu, you know? Mm-hmm. See, here's the um, thing. Andy's, Andy's here trying to take credit for doing a nice thing when the real story is uh, this isn't the first time he lost some gummy worms. And Lulu got into those gummy worms. Yeah. And I was like, oh, you know what? I see where it is. I, have to, I should pay for this, but I got to be cool. This way, I can get credit for it. But then you still lost your gummy worms. You got to make sure she doesn't get in there, dude. They're not my gummy worms. No, 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 no. They're, they're a communal gummy worm thing in the in the front um, in the front living room where a bunch of communal candies are put up there. But the other night it was like it's like one thirty in the morning. I'm sitting here and I'm like, you know, I'm gonna test out control on PC, see if there's any been, been any upgrades. And I hear a little a little mm-hmm. movement, mm-hmm. and I look to my right, and Lulu's looking right up at me, and I freak the fuck out. I was not expecting this dog's never been awake past this time or whatever. And I had left my door open. So she just decided to like wake up in the middle of the night, saw my door was open, walked in here. And I looked at her and I was kind of like, oh, fuck. And she like kind of freaked out too. <laughs> <laughs> and then I got into the shower. Then she started barking at everybody because she needed to go to the restroom. So Alyssa was like, you know what? Maybe she was going to your room because she knew you were the only one awake. Help and me. You could have taken her to the restroom. Help That's me. Really, really yeah. Cool. I didn't know that, Greg. I, I don't know what dogs are thinking, Greg. Greg, yeah. what amount of money would you pay to be able to talk to a dog right now? I mean, like my dog? To be able to talk to Portillo? Just dogs, yeah. I would pay... I If you, somebody came to me, the genie comes to me, and he's like, hey, I, how, I think that's how genies work. They how much would you pay me? dollars payments. 18 I would tell you, I, you know what? Up it to 6000 I will pay you $6,000 for this dog not to be able to talk to me. Because it not would be the most talk, annoying, not, being not the most annoying thing in the fucking world. Of it. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Feed me. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. That's mm-hmm. what he would say all the time. Mm-hmm. I'd get nothing done because he'd be hungry. I'm hungry. But you don't. Th- you don't think Portilla would because he can't understand you right now. You don't think he'd be able to then understand? Oh, okay. He's busy. I'll wait. Like I, <laughs> no, he would not. I, mean, I don't know. Mm. No, he's not going to know that at all. Do you think dogs are, would have that understanding and that reasonability, reasoning, reason? Which part? Like, I, I don't think dogs would be able to reason. I don't think it, right. If Portillo suddenly could speak to me and I could speak to him, I do not think he'd. I, I was like five minutes, five minutes, he'd understand what that means. Really? Because it, it's the thing about it even right now where it's like, even if Portillo thinks he communicates to me, Lulu thinks she communicates to you. If you, you know, if she would have peed in the house, she would have been like, I told you. Like, it's not that there's a barrier, I think, there. Like, it's like why he, you know, poor, I know when Porty wants his uh, food, when he wants another treat, when he wants whatever, and you have to say no to him. Like, I'm aware of what he wants. There's a great right. comic strip that went around the internet uh, a while ago now. But it was where a, a dog genie shows up for another dog, and, you know, what's your wish? And the dog's like, I want to be able to talk to my owners. <laughs> and he's like, granted. And the dog runs into the kitchen, and he's like, I want to be able to, you only be able to talk to your, your owner for like 30 seconds. So he runs into the kitchen, this. he's like, I love it. guys, guys, you, I can only talk to you. Oh my, oh my God, the dog's talking. I can only talk to you for 30 seconds. All those times where you've been eating food and I've been annoying you, it's because I wanted the food. And the owners just go, yeah, we know. And it's just the dog going, what? <laughs> like, 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 I would crush him to know. <laughs> I know exactly. Last night, I'll tell you what, we had a big old pizza pie here on the table. Huge pizza from Noriega Pizza, pizza Place. Pie. I, ran, I, dry, I dropped some stuff off at Tim and got some stuff from Tim right before I got it, and he was excited for me because he knows how good that pizza is. Mm-hmm. But I, since the pizza is so big, it takes up the entire table. We were watching Iron Man. I brought my slice down on my plate here, and I was just watching, I was watching the movie, and I just hear, crunch. And I look down, and it's Porty just so gently biting the crust of my pizza on my plate, trying to. And his teeth are too old now to tear off a piece of the crust, you know, that New York style crust. But he's like, and he just looked at me like, I know I'm fucking up, but I'm so sorry, but I had to do this. It's like the scorpion and the frog, man. This is my nature. Like, I didn't want to do this. I had to do this. Do you understand? Oh, because, I no, but I, I think that if you were to have had Porty at an early age, I think if you were to be able to talk to the dog, like, because right now, if you were to be able to communicate, you know, with each other, I think 
there'd be a lot of oh fuck i didn't know that oh word oh that's what all that shit meant like i think now you would have all those issues and they'd be like what are you talking about are you what, see you my thing here's what i'm doing is i think you're going a step too far because you're going beyond being able to keep far enough I agree with that as too. Yeah, you haven't talked about if the dogs are getting sexy. It's the fact that wow. we're able to communicate with the dog and they can communicate with us, but you're also giving them the ability to learn things. I think it would be I'm having a dog, right? And I'm not a parent. I'm not a parent. I do not have any children. The thing about a dog is it's like perpetually in that toddler phase. Like Porty doesn't learn from his mistakes. Porty clacks all over the place. He slips on the ground. I'm like, let me cut your nails. And as soon as I start, he panics. I'm like, I've, you've never been hurt. You know what I mean? You've bled yeah. once or twice. It's not like you've been maimed by this. This is what you need to let me do to you. And then he eats something that will kill him. I'm like, don't eat. You, if, you, if, he, if it drops on the ground, I'll be like, don't eat that again. I could communicate that. And he'd be like, oh, got it. And then you just fish brain, forget it, and like eat it again. Yeah, but, but that's the thing is I feel like you, they do learn. Like they learn over time. And I think that once you look, teach them language, then they'd be able to learn more advanced things. That's what separates us from the monkeys unless you're Robin Williams. As usual on this podcast, it's just coming down to – I think faith in the way we were raised in the way that you guys have this genie who's given you this thing. And you think there's no catch. I guarantee the genie I'd be fucking with would be like, Oh, you want to be able to communicate with him? Boom. You didn't say anything about him getting smarter and learning from you. And then fade away. Nick, you keep raising your hand. I'm sorry. What do you I was going to say, here's how the genie's going to fuck you. And this is what you got to get ahead of. Right. Mm -hmm. Cause I like to get, I, I think like a genie, Andy, I don't know why, but I think like a genie and the way I would fuck I'd you on this one, Greg, yeah. Is I would say, oh, you want to talk to dogs? Great. You wake up, you can talk to your dog. Fantastic. Your wife comes over to say something to you, and you're like, hey, Jenna, what's going on? And she goes, roof, 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 roof. Oh, and you're like, shit. I can only talk to dogs. I can only Everyone oh, else. That'd be good. That's, Nick, oh, let's leave these me. clowns behind and start a new Twilight show. You know what I mean? Not Twilight, oh. wait, Twilight Zone, not Twilight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Twilight. You know what I mean? Yeah, I hate I mean, We're having a great conversation about communicating dogs, and we'll get mm -hmm. back to it. Andy, think of something to say about that. But before we go, <laughs> Uh, too far away we are having a bit of a meltdown in the chat right now on the live stream all right that we need to address the lou while watching live here on patreon.com slash kind of funny says so wait if i started skating and wearing a backwards hat well before 30 is it still okay to do it or was i supposed to stop after 30 according to nick now nick before you weigh in i want you to know he's getting conflicting information in the chat Madeline Stanley says, I think if you started before, then you can keep doing it like Tony Hawk. When Roman Waters says you'd have to stop midnight before your birthday. Yeah, it's midnight. It's 11.59.59 on the dot is when you stop skateboarding at your 29th year of, of age. Wow. Now, the thing is this, like you get that, that is it. You stop, right? There's extra penalties if you decide to pick it up past 30. If you decide to pick it up past 30, your family can legitimately ostracize you from their lives. And that's really? acceptable as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, yeah. Those are yeah. tough punishments. I mean, it's a harsh I mean, world out there, guys. Nobody wants that friend that's going to be like, "Yo, come out to my come out to my free comedy show." <laughs> you know, keep coming out to my comedy. I assure you, no one wants that friend. Nobody wants that friend. You are right. You are right. You are, right. <laughs> you are one hundred percent right on that. I'll tell one. you what, like these stories, they tend to get very personal. When they <laughs> <laughs> I just, you know, I'm just, I'm spitballing. I'm just talking. talking Nobody wants that friend. Everybody fucking hates him. <laughs> Hypotheticals. Did you guys see the? Did you guys see the Tony Hawk video that went viral a couple days ago? Mm -mm. He's old and he's guess. trying to do some movie he hadn't done it forever. Let me right? guess. It's somebody asking him, are you Tony Hawk? Shocker, Tony Hawk. Get a new bit. Jesus that's, Christ. That's very know. funny, Andy, but it was not that. It was not that. Uh, it was him trying to do a 720, oh, which shit. if you don't lot, know what right? that is, that's two full rotations. It's two 360s. But he's known for the 900, which is two and a half spins. But it Seems uh, overwhelming. He, he tweeted, he was like, it's been years since I've landed a 720 and I need to fucking do it. And it's a video clip of him just trying a couple times and like failing, failing, failing. He finally gets it. And you just see the, how stoked he is. He's just like, fuck. Yes. I still got it. I'm old, but damn. And it's just like our heroes are just crumbling in front of us. Like it is just so crazy to see this. I see Nick it twice a week up. now on this show. Do you think that he was able to do that because of the flexibility and mobility he got from all the yoga that I told him he should do? He, it was weird Good because question. he did a follow-up 
Twitter video where he was talking about just yoga. And he was Grace. just like, I went Perfect. to E3. I usually hate E3, but this dude taught me about yoga. <laughs> this crazy out of shape dude who's not flexible at all just wouldn't stop talking about yoga and Pilates. Why the hell not? <laughs> now I'm 720 show. and all over the fucking place. I got, a, I got a hall pass to go to the gas station for the FCF and they let me 720 on the fucking slipper. He's cranking soggy 90s, hitting 720s and getting hall passes to the gas station. What? What's up, fuck faces? This is the kind of funny podcast each and every week four sometimes five best friends gather around this table twice a week sometimes with guests and all sorts of stuff uh, if you like that and you like bullshitting with us head over to patreon.com slash kind of funny where you can get every episode ad free you can write in to be part of the show you get it with the exclusive post show you can watch us record it live just like madeline is who was wrong according to uh nick just like uh, roman is who was right according to nick lexi g mark the Lou, and the list goes on i know remember huh they know. They know what's up. <laughs> Remember, uh, that's all on patreon.com slash kind of funny. However, if you have no bucks to toss our way, you can get each and every episode on youtube.com slash kind of funny, roosterteeth.com, and podcast services around the globe. Uh, some housekeeping for you. Uh, it is a Monday when you watch this since you're not watching it live. Uh, why don't you go to youtube.com slash kind of funny games and check out the recap video made by Roger Pocorny of all our Twitch highlights from the previous week. And he gets you in and out in just a couple of minutes showing you all the funny things we had. Will Nick be on there? Of course. Will Greg be on there? Not enough. I don't know if you know this. This like Rogers always giving you guys a lot of limelight. Never me. A lot of fun moments in our streams. Yeah, we have a lot of we have a lot of fun. Huge laughs, sick headshots, crazy helicopter plays. That's where the that's where the fun is. Monday and Tuesday. Only the songiest nineties. Only the soggiest nineties. That's true. Did Andy's you say got some songiest like like a song. <laughs> Hey, you S-O- know what, guys? S O N G E. I'm distracted by this email that uh, the kind of funny business account just got um, that is looking for some dental help. Hey, just came across Greg Miller, DDS. Uh, I'm interested yes. in some dental hygienist yeah, recommendations. Sure. Like, excuse me, motherfucker. You just hit up business at kindoffunny.com mm-hmm. <laughs> to get some dental shit. No, maybe they just looked up Greg Miller and then the email was there and it just said email. So they clicked on it and you know, it opens up Outlook in some ugly, awful Microsoft yeah, sort of way. That's what happened. Maybe yeah. that's the thing. I hate that shit, Kevin. Oh, nothing it's more so annoying dumb. than that. Who's using that? You know what I mean? Nobody. Nobody's using Microsoft Businesses, Outlook. Businesses, that's it. Ew, businesses. People stuck in the past, Kevin. Mm-hmm. The future is now. All right, I'm logging in right here. now. Okay. It's here. Yeah, sure. Whatever. What are you logging in for? Are you wait? Are you? I'm gonna see answer? if I can get a photo of this guy's mouth. Don't do that! Don't do that! This sounds Greg, 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 Greg. Huh. Wait, this sounds uh-huh. illegal. Uh-huh. This sounds illegal. You, know you want to get a photo of this man's yeah, mouth? Yeah, he's gonna respond. Hey, Greg Miller here. Can I get a photo here? <laughs> and then no response. <laughs> Honey, did you ever find out what happened to that Dennis? I sent him a picture of my mouth. He never responded. He sent back a picture of his own mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Does your tooth look like this? I, so this this is bad. I shouldn't do this. Yeah, that's definitely not. This. Yeah, it's bad. You should not ask for private medical when anything. There's nothing. Dog. There's nothing medical about that. Greg, you have to reply. You have to reply. And I'll tell you because oh, so. this is great content. And I think you don't ask for photos. I think you just say like. Which tooth hurts? Like really simplistic terms. Uh, the, I guess the one near my front tooth, and then that's when you take a photo of yours, like this one or this. <laughs> First of all, this is definitely this is definitely someone that just knows that there's a Greg Miller DDS and was just like, oh, I'm gonna send this to Greg Miller. Uh, kind of funny. It's gonna be funny. It'll probably make the KF podcast. Not the first one of the week. The second one. That one's boring. Yeah. <laughs> The first one, they're so stuffy. The second one, they've all become unhinged in Kevin's full of pizza. <laughs> How much pizza like, are you full of, Kevin? Oh, everything hurts. Oh. Why would they even... Why would, here's, here's my question for you, Kevin. Here's my question for you. Why would they even offer those, like, scallions for a pizza? That does not belong on pizza. That's horse shit. Stop why ordering from that place from now on. I serious when I write extra red sauce. Why? Why are they doing it? Oh, they do take it seriously, Kevin. It's just not just ever enough for add you. Add more. Kevin, just I think here's the like that the little plastic give me a fucking, bag. That, give me a barrel. You know? So this thing that I uh, we have here, mm-hmm. when you read into it, it's clearly I think it's a little spammy. You know what I mean? It doesn't seem like somebody's looking for actual dental advice. Because you're looking at this Jan email, right? Yes. 
All right. Yeah. See, it's a little bit spammy. I think they're trying to get us to sign up for something to promote our dental organization. So I'm going to turn it on them, everybody. All right. I'm going to turn, I'm going to turn it on them. I'm writing back. Dear Jan, Greg Miller here, AKA <laughs> in quotes, the doctor with teeth. <laughs> The tooth doctor. That's the no, best. No, the doctor that's, that's where we're at. I don't know the doctor, doctor with, teeth. with teeth is the best way to put that. I Your offer that intrigues two, me. The tooth doctor, doctor, two on the nose, but the doctor <laughs> with teeth, I think, might be too far from the goal. <laughs> I, 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 I changed the goal. I changed the goal. I changed the goal. We're flipping it on them. She Jan wants us to use her service. We're going to try to get her to use ours. Dear Jan, Greg Miller here, a.k.a. the doctor with teeth. Your offer intrigues me. How much would you pay me for teeth advice? <laughs> That's great. I'm That's good. that. That's great. Maybe, we, maybe we will keep you posted. It, underneath it, in really small font, can you put, I am not a doctor. Disclaimer, <laughs> I am not a doctor. This was meant for Jan. <laughs> if anyone else but Jan got this, please forward to Jan and then put the email or email. In. I was really hoping you went the route of adding more and more Nick, you know, like the mouth from the South or, you know, the host of the most. I was hoping it was going to be like, uh, you know, the teeth from beneath. They're like just something Jesus. really weird like that. Yeah, it's kind of gross, actually. That's a gross one. Uh, more housekeeping for you before we get back to the podcast. It is FCF week. You see me wearing the kind of funny Wild Aces uh, jersey. Uh, it is finally happening. Fan-controlled football starts this week, ladies and gentlemen. If you haven't been paying attention, we own a football team. Uh, the Wild Aces will be drafting their team Wednesday on twitch.tv slash FCF. Uh, you can watch there. Download the FCF app. That way you can vote on who we're drafting. Uh, we'll probably be, we're going to be streaming it. We'll be ending a podcast. I'm going to be jumping on. I'll be streaming it. So you can watch it twitch.tv slash kind of funny games uh we'll be pushing that way but then most importantly uh game one is saturday at 5 p.m pacific against the glacier boys uh that one for sure twitch.tv slash fcf however we will be co-streaming it and talking over it here and probably drinking a few brews if you want to come to twitch.tv slash kind of funny games again go right now to fcf.io that's a website fcf.io you can uh r- make an account there you can uh, choose to back the wild aces and then with the fcf app and the twitch extension they have you'll be able to vote on what plays we actually run on Saturday. And if you want to, what players we draft on Wednesday. And it's going to be crazy and cool and a lot of fun. Right, Nick? Absolutely. I'll be there all day starting at 9 a.m. Twitch.tv slash kind of funny games. The standby screen will be there for about 14 hours ahead of time as well. Yeah, Nick won't be there that early, but he'll be there later. You know what I mean? Do you yeah. think Johnny Ace will be there too? Our logo? I don't know. It Man. depends on if Greg wants to put some time on the calendar this week to, uh, to film those things with Johnny Ace. Greg's been waiting on a t-shirt for a while that hasn't gotten here yet, but I do want to have a video for Monday probably insulting the other uh, owners. So I guess the day this goes up. Yeah, cool in the game. We can probably arrange that. Johnny's uh, Johnny's in town, I think. Speaking of insulting people, let's celebrate people. I'm talking about the Patreon producers. There it is, Tim. I got there. You go to patreon.com slash kind of funny like I've said a million times already. Here's the people who are our Patreon producers for They did it in the month of January. Now it's February. There's a lot. Pack pack a lunch and whatever sandwich if you're on a hike. Uh, Graham of Legend, David David Mintel, Recasted Podcast, Food City, Fat, Food Kid, Fat City. Still a great name. Uh, Joy, a.k.a. Joseph O. Youssef. Uh, Danny Rodriguez, Javi Rodriguez, King Vin, uh, Tyler Wodan, uh, Corey Wallerstead. Uh, Devin Holbrook, James Davis, at James Davis Makes. G, G, it's Greg, but with two Gs in the front, two Gs in the back, which I don't like at all. Uh, then nanobiologist, DJ Kento, Aaron, not Aaron, Willie D. Billums, uh, Alexander Knoxel, Julian the Gluten-Free Gamer, uh, Ricky L. Wanger, uh, Caesar Palafox, Devin Carter, Steve Powers, uh, Mark Freeman, Andrew C., Pizza Burgers, Ryan Trimble, Kieran O'Donnell, and Keith A. Lewis- Today we're brought to you by Me Undies and Keeps, but we'll tell you about that later. For now, Andy, what you thinking about? Um, honestly, I'm thinking about something kind of sad. Mentioning all these Patreon uh, producers, I'm thinking about a kind of funny best friend who uh, I kind of met through another, uh, an actual in real life friend of mine, who one day walked in her office and said. You're on my coworker's computer. Why? And I was like, he probably <laughs> listens to our podcast. That's really, really cool. I ended up, I ended up just becoming his Twitter friend. Uh, his name is Joey, and he uh, got COVID in, I think, on December 26th, and has still been on a ventilator in the oh hospital God. ever since. And uh, and my my friend Kelly was giving me updates on him, and I. 
his his Twitter's private, so I don't really want to say, hey, go give him some shout outs because I don't even really know like what what the situation is. I'm not sure what like whether he wants to be private for a reason or whatever. Sure, sure, sure. Um but yeah, I'm just thinking about I'm just thinking about that. And um yeah, it's it's just it's a bummer. That that along with some other members of the community that were telling me about, you know, my father passed away last week, yeah, my mother yeah. passed away two weeks ago, you know, this and that and it's 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 just tough shit out there. It's just tough shit. And so you mentioning all our lovely supporters, for some reason Joey popped in my head, and I was like, oh, I haven't gotten an update in a while, and uh, I was about to go kind of just peruse the internet um, for a couple of seconds. So, uh, yeah, you're welcome for bringing down the vibe on the podcast, but <laughs> I didn't mean to no. do that. Sorry, everybody. No, no, no. It's important to talk about that, and I want to know what's going on with you. And I'm glad. Yeah, yeah. I, I wanna I wanna kind of get a, another update and just kind of see what the situation is. You know. Yeah, of course. Yeah, that's uh, terrible, obviously. And we've seen so many people uh, this year and last, obviously, have to struggle with that and COVID and how it's impacted everybody's lives. Yeah. In a in a fun story or a positive story, maybe not fun. Fun's definitely not the word. But my mom and everyone in the assisted living place she's in got COVID a couple weeks ago, or at this point, a little longer than that. And um, every single person made it through. And there are a lot of old people that have a lot of sure. health issues. And they all, everyone there made it through, and my mom's getting her second shot tomorrow. Oh, that's rad. So that's pretty, great. pretty stoked about it. And ev- everyone there is getting the shot tomorrow, so it's pretty cool stuff. Yeah, my, 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 my folks got their uh, first shot, and I think they get their next shot in about a week. So I'm, I'm super excited for them. And uh, my, mom is, my mom especially has been having a hard time with this just because she's, uh, you know, she's just freaked out by everything, rightfully so. It's scary. Um, but I'm very happy for her because she seems to be kind of coming out of a little, her shell a little bit more and being like, yeah, you know, it's going to be nice. We can, like, I can walk around a little bit more. Maybe we can go to, you know, to some of the outside. Because they haven't been doing anything. They haven't been doing, like, any of the out, outside dining or anything and mm-hmm. that stuff when it was, like, available. My mom was just like, no, we're not risking it. Um, and so I'm excited for that. And, and, and for my dad because I'm sure he wants to get the fuck out of the house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, How old is your mom, Nick? They're in their 70s. Um, yeah. She's 71? How old? Yeah, she's 30. Or, yeah, she's 71. So, because they had me when they were 30. So, that makes sense. I'm 41. But, so they're not, they're not terribly old. And they're obviously, I mean, they're in great shape um, and they're still together, which is crazy. Um, so, that's good. They, well, I, I called them the other day. They were going for a walk. And I was like, I just heard this. And I'm like, you got, okay, just go home and take the mask off. Go home and take the mask off. <laughs> and, then my dad, and then my dad was like, cool. And I was like, yeah, I was like, yeah just call me back. Just call me back, okay? And then my dad <laughs> FaceTimes me. I'm in the car. I'm picking up dinner. And I'm like, I can't pick. I don't know. What, I'm sorry to get frustrated here because I'm like, I don't know what to do. Because I want to tell him that. I, but I don't want to pick up the FaceTime because that's dangerous while I'm driving. Yeah, you can't do that. So I just hit stop. And then he's my dad. And so he probably thought, oh, it didn't go through. So he FaceTimes me again. And at this point, I'm like, I, I guess I just have to pull over and like text him. And, and so I pulled over and texted him. No FaceTime, no FaceTime. I'm driving. So he called me. We, we were able to catch up. But um they it's it's nice to hear them happy it's nice to hear them like the positivity come out of their voices because this uh covid was just it's so stressful for everyone involved you know just everyone on the fucking planet <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah that's the that's still the, the like, weirdest thing about it right is anytime you talk to somebody about it and you want to vent or lament your own situation they're in the exact same situation right like it's not yeah. like a it's not a san francisco thing it's not a california thing it's a worldwide thing speaking of san francisco things yeah, I, there's Golden Gate Bridge. I, I wanted to, to bring up. Yes, thank you. Trolleys. How long is the Golden Gate Bridge? Uh, Kev, can you bring up the <laughs> link that I sent to Assets yesterday? The bluecheckhomes.com. Oh, oh my God. God. I knew you'd see this. I knew you'd love this. It's. I love it on so it's many the levels. It's Tim Gettys thing ever. And it's one of those and, things in, that I'm shocked. Like, hopefully you've submitted it already. Well, here's. It goes it's so not much. Save it, save it, save it. We got Yeah, we got to open up. Yeah. So here we go. Uh, I'm going to open it myself so I can actually read it. Here we go. Blue check homes. Get a verified blue badge on your home. The blue verified badge on your house lets people outside know that you're an authentic public figure. Mm -hmm. To receive the blue check crest, there must be someone authentic and notable actively living in the house. Uh, You have to send in all of your socials, obviously, your Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and all that stuff that represent you. Uh, Kev, scroll down a little bit. So wait, real quick, before you scroll down, I'm sorry, scrolling back up to it. Can you explain? Yeah, okay, that actually, I'm sorry. I can't open it because my Slack's crashed. But if you scroll down, just can you explain what this is? Like, we understand it because SF and the way houses are here. But like for somebody who's an audio listener right now and can't see it. So essentially the idea here is that if you uh, have a house in the Bay Area 
and you are somebody that matters, somebody in the social scene or whatever. Yeah. Uh, similarly to on Twitter or Instagram, you get the blue check mark. Obviously, I'm the verified one, Tim Gettys. Yeah. Uh, you can get a check mark on your house. You know, to verify yeah. that yes, yeah, of you, course, someone Naturally. fucking important lives here. Should be able to do that. Absolutely. SF because has these very ornate them. things on houses, right? That usually mm -hmm. are like you know they can be anything, a mask or just a little uh, flower, and this is replacing that piece of architectural artwork with a giant blue check mark in like what I can only describe as like a scheme from the Wet Bandits in Home Alone. Mm -hmm. That they, this is how Wait, they would do it in fake. 2021. No, that they would they would start this up and try to get you to come do this so that it's just easy to find out who's who matters so you can go try to rob them. I thought it was so, just yeah, like a so, big elaborate meme. Well, so so Kev, as you hear, it's like a historical architecture detail reinvented for the modern day to signal influence. You can see that these two houses obviously have important people living there. They're probably making a lot of money. They're tech people. Um, this is from House Trend Watch uh, in January of this year. If you scroll down a bit more, that's the van that goes around and uh, installs these on the different houses. So that's pretty, pretty. Uh, but how it works, you have to actually like create your whole application. You have to wait for a review. There's an interview process. It actually costs a lot of money uh, to be able to do this, but what, what stage it? of the interview are, are you what on? Doesn't, right what doesn't, I, I mean, you know, I'm still waiting for mine. I haven't heard back if I even got approved to be able to pay the money. See, uh, Tim's got a twinge in his voice right now. Something's coming. I don't know what yeah, it's well, going to be, fake. but it's something's fake. coming. Well, I mean, let, me, let, me read you the, let me read you the who can apply. Homeowners who are prominent executives, thought leaders, influencers, authors, and journalists who represent prominent organizations, including companies, brands, nonprofit organizations, and media organizations. It keeps going on, blah, 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 blah. But it even goes as far to say uh, homeowners who are athletes or on professional esports leagues and coaches listed on the official team website or who have three or more features references within the six months prior to applying in news outlets such as Kotaku, Polygon, or IGN. Guys, I think that we are good. We're golden We're in. for this. We got it. Let's We're go. In. We're in. Um, anyway, you can keep going through and Kev, please keep scrolling. Uh, you can check this out. It's, we may also remove the blue badge crest from your home at any point if you no <laughs> longer meet our criteria. Uh, removal <laughs> will not incur additional charges, so that's great. But when you get to the bottom of the page, what the fuck is this real? And no, everyone, the answer is no. It's Thank not God. real. And the Thank amount of God. people that fucking think bullshit. this is real, that see it and are like, oh, fucking San Francisco. I'm like, y'all motherfuckers, are you thing. serious? The There's money in this. Like, there is money in Let's do it. You know what I it's mean? It's not real yet. Now we're going to be the one to do it. <laughs> I mean, here's the thing. It'd be dumb. We'd be leaving money on the table. Just think I mean, it. that's this guy's like job to do, man. Like he deserves this money. He I'll fucking tell you what, how many of those so are many motherfuckers with it. I'd love to know how many people submitted because there's the over. thing at the very top that wants to be submitted. You know what I mean? I wonder how many he actually got. Oh, my God, he got a ton. There's so many people that 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 blue check mark means a lot to. It's just pure vanity. That I'm sure he did not think about get a that. ton. You were I'm so sure wrong. He no got a ton. fucking way did anybody read through this and go, yeah, I'm going to pay thousands of dollars for this thing. No way. I would like, get the guy on the phone, call him, call Mr. Blue what? Checkmark guy. What would you guys bet how many people actually 100. did this? As like, as for applicants, people. I think 100 people probably applied to this. I could see that because because here's the thing like does it cost and, and maybe I'm wrong I'm sorry I, but does it cost an upfront thing or do you just apply for it first and then you have you to pay the fee first yeah so I'm sure a bunch of people it's that are three thousand like dollars to apply it's three thousand dollars yeah once you get approved I yeah. mean it, you don't actually get approved because it's not real yeah it's <laughs> so where can I pick up my check mark for my house yeah you where do I do I get one for my house no. <laughs> Back to walkie talkie. The guy says like that if you, if somebody actually were to do this, like he would make he would totally make one for someone. He's a sculptor. He doesn't know about pricing though. <laughs> Fair three thousand dollars. That's a lot the for it. A, but, a piece of wood. Well, I mean, but what, what, what me and Tim or what me and Nick are saying is that like I bet you a bunch of people filled out the three spaces up top and hit and yeah the contact form or whatever. Yeah. I bet you they didn't. Oh, man. Nobody that actually would be verified to have one of these things would want one of these targets on their house. So That's I should have true. submitted. Like, people one? that aren't qualified, I'm sure were like, oh, I have enough clout to make this happen. I'm going to just fill it out. Didn't even read the whole thing. Didn't even get to the part where it's like, oh, hey, it's not real. 
I'm doing it right now. Fill it out. Ask the guys. Tell, tell me, hey, give all Nick's like, information. The, give all the the Nick's old, information. Don't give all the. Do what I do. Give me Andy's. Use the, use the studio. Use the old studio. Here, while all that happens, ladies and gentlemen, let me remind you, of course, you can go to patreon.com slash kind of funny to be part of the show to get it with that exclusive post show and to get the show ad free. And speaking of ads, Greg Way, toot toot, it's the ads. This episode of the Kind of Funny Podcast is brought to you by Me Undies. Let's talk about love. Yes, we are doing this. Uh, if there is one thing that got us through the past year, other than the video of Dogface vibing to Fleetwood Mac, it's love. And that means getting extra cheesy for Valentine's Day is okay. We will allow it. Despite everything, we found new ways to match our daily lives together with the ones we love most. That's why Me Undies released their V Day collection in undies, loungewear, and more. So if you and your Valentine can match through this, you can match through anything. Show that special someone how much you care and say those words everyone wants to hear match my undies and if you're single no problem show yourself some love uh, in something that makes you feel amazing because you deserve that uh, me and these of course are made with sustainable breathable softer than soft fabric and are available in a range of sizes from xs to 4xl me and these memberships also give you and your boo a new pair of undies or socks every month members get discounted pricing on everything me and these makes as well as early access to print launches. Everybody knows it. Kind of funny. Loves me undies. They're the only underwear I wear. And Tim loves them so much. He uh, bought those me undies shirts. He wears me undies lounge pants. He wears me undies everything, including the underwear. Me undies, super comfortable. We love it. Uh, me undies has a great offer for my listeners. For any first time purchasers, you get 15% off and free shipping. Me undies also has their problem free philosophy. If you're not satisfied with any product for any reason, they'll refund or exchange it. No caveats, no questions. To get 15% off, your first order and free shipping, go to MeUndies.com slash morning. That's MeUndies.com slash morning. And our next sponsor is Keeps. Uh, two out of three men will experience some form of hair loss by the time they are 35. More than 50 million men in the U.S. suffer from male pattern baldness. Uh, there are only two FDA-approved medif- medications that can prevent hair loss. Keeps offers them both. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, uh, you know, uh, Nick and Andy both had thinning hair, and they did something about it. You should, too. It isn't something you should suffer in silence about, something you should be embarrassed about. None of that. Get on it, and Keeps can help. Uh, Keeps offers a simple, stress-free way to keep your hair. Convenient virtual doctor consultations and medications delivered straight to your door every three months. You don't have to leave your home. It has a low-cost treatment chart at just $10 per month, and Keeps offers generic versions. You get discreet packaging and proven results. Keeps has more five-star reviews than any of its competitors, and prevention is key. Treatments can take four to six months to see results, so act soon. If you're ready to take action and prevent hair loss, go to keeps, K-E-E-P-S dot com slash morning to receive your first month of treatment for free. That's keeps dot com slash morning, K-E-E-P-S dot com slash morning to get your first month free. Toot toot, the ad boat's coming around, tugging all the ads behind The it. ad boat is coming, and everybody's jumping. New York to San Francisco, we're coming to your disco. Hit the, hit the little keyboard. The wheels are still in motion. Andy, Andy we <laughs> like to party. <laughs> we like... I'm, hold on, I'm trying Andy, to be like... The, I love seeing podcast. Andy try to work on it. Like, you see his eyes going... <laughs> Fuck, it's over. <laughs> oh, damn. That was good, though. Nick, can we agree that if you or me ever yeah. learn to time travel, yeah, we go back and we go to an Ambolina show? Oh, I would just love God. to fucking see Andy up there so jamming wait, out. Wait, let me get this straight. You think that you and me both... Yeah. If we had the power to time travel, yeah, the first and probably let's be honest, only thing I didn't say first. I didn't say first is to fuck with Andy because I'm on board. If that's the case, that's a joke. We can do a lot of things. Itself. I'm thinking, you know, we have multiple. We figured it out. Once you've cracked the code, I don't think it's yeah. a one way trip or one way ticket or one chance. No, ticket. I mean, I but okay. Chances. So here's but here's the thing. Here's the thing. I, I'm the genie. You want to time travel, Rish? You're screwed, right? I go. You can time. You have to. You can time travel to any time period. That mm-hmm. Ambelina is having a show. Sure. Where with, and you can do any, anything you want, but you have to go to that show. And you have to fuck with Andy. That, no, those I mean, are the restrictions. I, no, see, my, my butt would be, it'd be one of those situations where the, the bass player, I assume you had a bass player. Yeah, Chubb, Charlie. Something really bad Chubb. happened to him. 
And uh, he was like, he, you know, food poisoning for just that weekend. And it had to be Greg Miller to play bass. You had to go on stage oh, and, no. and do it. I it, like, I, I appreciate the idea of wanting to go back in time to watch me just rock out. Right. Yeah. Um, the <laughs> Nick, where, where I'd say that I wouldn't go back in time to fuck with me at that time is because I don't know you at that time. So I feel like, yeah, but you'll the, figure it out eventually. It'll be hilarious. Why are these two 50 year old men at our show? Number yeah. one and, and number two giggling while me? they go through my bag. I think, <laughs> I think it would be funnier if maybe six months into listening to kind of funny or, or being into IGN and all that stuff. Yeah. Then you all travel back in time and fuck with me. I'm like, wait, oh my God, you're why you're in the future. What the fuck? And that would be like really confusing me. Like, yeah, you end up working with us in like, 10, like that, that would have a big, a big payoff. But at the time I'm like, these guys are fucking creepy. I want to call the cops on them for like, mm -hmm. no, I see that fucking now, with me back in the I see, day. You know we, I mean? We've, uh, we've hashed this out a little bit more. I do see there are some, some flaws in this plan. Yeah. I understand that completely. <laughs> not, I mean, there's not yeah. a lot of flaws. So there's enough to go back. Greg, I, we I could mean, do it. I, I would have loved to see you at the show trying like fucking helping going. with the crowd surfing. Helping with the people wanting to crowd surf because you're the big body. You'd be the base be station. There. Let me up there. No, you're, you're the, the you have to transition people from the floor to the surf. Sure. Yeah, Greg, let me remind okay. you. Okay. Nobody in the valley is above five foot nine, maybe Love five it. ten max. Okay. Nobody's That's gonna a, be able to mm -hmm. like help you mm -hmm. out and lift you. You're gonna be that like that Michigan much. control tower, like the air the air control yeah. tower, being able to tell people where to go and how you guys how were so good shit. though. That show would have fucking rocked, Andy. They, they rocked, Greg. They rocked. You were, you rocked too. You were you were there too. Don't I? Thank you, were you, part, you were the Am and Ambolina. I just listened to some Wake Up right here. You kidding me? That's a track right there. That's a, a track. track right there. Can I ask you guys a, a real serious question? Sure. Over here. Uh -huh. Do you ever think about raiding the other uh, the other live stream that's going on right now for our channel and just fucking with them all and then just coming right back? I mean, to I think show? about it, but it's like that. Like I really like Paris. Uh, Paris would have Snowbike Mike would fine. love it. Paris, Gary Paris would get it. cranky about it, and Barrett would have a mental breakdown. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So Gary would be like, "I'll oh, fuck off with this." So oh, yeah. what I what I'm hearing is we get to say hi to Paris. Mike would love it. <laughs> Gary's just going to be Gary, and Barrett's just going to be Barrett. <laughs> so, Andy, Andy, I want I want your impressions of each of the four in one sentence. In one sentence, my impressions. E one sentence each impression of them when we come in okay start with paris paris goes man this is wild yeah I, I know you're trying <laughs> you know, you're trying to get so low that's, that's as paris. low as the that's andy as register as goes yeah, I'm sorry. I'm real low, Greg. Whoa, there it is see oh, oh, yeah. 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 it's closer it's closer man this is wild right now that's okay that's paris. Good. That's oh my good. god you, that was that, that was really good, good. that you. was good all right what about gary yeah gary goes oh fuck off you fuck off. Why? Just stay in your own show. Fuck yeah. off. Yeah, get oink, this fucking, oh, yeah, fuck off. Yeah, yeah, oink, dude, oink. No, wait, wait, I bet, wait, wait, sorry. <laughs> oink, oink. oink. You turned, you turned oink into the pig noise. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why I did that. You know why? It, 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 Tim, drawing from stuff that's noodling around here, we had to get those fucking pigs we into the, the pigs. In we stupid had to move truck out the earlier pigs. today. Uh, that came out and it manifested <laughs> itself in the weirdest way. All right, give, me, uh, give me some Barrett. Um, God, I... nailed it. it. It'd be you like nailed, nailed it. it. You nailed no, you it. just nailed it. That was great. No, here, okay. Here's Barrett. Here's Barrett. I don't know. You all coming into this room? Uh, not as good as the 1998 uh, <laughs> video game. Just saying. That's Fair. my Barrett impression. What, the what 1998 video so game. Yeah. Mike. <laughs> This is crazy, y'all. This is crazy. Oh, <laughs> Damn, Andy. That was really good. That was really good. I like uh, Nick. I like how Nick or Andy's impression of Mike is kind of like the, it's pizza motherfucker from the it's, Lunchables. It's pizza motherfucker. Yeah. commercial. Dude. Oh, I have man. to watch back the clip today, Greg, when I told Mike that Gronkowski was leaking liquid or, or there was a liquid. His head was filled with liquid. Fucking head, <laughs> and Mike fucking lost. Lost it. He was mid. Lost so it. Mike, very, very self conscious about eating on camera. And so throughout the whole thing, he was eating pizza, but he would cover his mouth up so that people can see him chewing. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm telling this story about how Rob Gronkowski on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers this is all a true story, by the way. Rob Gronkowski, the tight end, uh, Gronk, everybody knows him by, retired at the age of 29 two years ago. 
came back to play this year with Tom Brady. Um, but he retired at such an early age of 29 because his body was breaking down. And, and I, and I mentioned, and he talked about how there was uh, fluid building up in his fucking head. And then Mike just absolutely loses it. And he just like with the food in his mouth and he turned a shade of red. I've never seen, but like <laughs> we're talking Tim levels of like shade of pink, but further than that, you know, and he was just like about to choke on this pizza. It is one of the, like, I've never seen Mike laugh that hard. I, I wanted to clip. I need to clip that shit out. Cause I was fucking dying. It was a good moment today. Shame. Good Super Bowl. Good Super Bowl, Greg. Not that Getting good. Hurt. You weren't that great. Getting I was terrible. I, I, I have to head out. I'm about to go make an appearance oh, on the Good right. Vibes Gaming Podcast, but this was fun. Uh, Love you real guys. Real quick, Tim, before you go, yes. before you go, 495 applicants is how many people the Danielle uh, That's Baskin not true. Got. No? No. The no. SF- 496. Oh. God, look what he did there. He <laughs> turned he it around. Had oh, he he had He's one such one, a piece of trash, one. but God, he got I there. Him. Man. I hate I him. Hate him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Stop it's, right there. That was just so not the right key that it was perfect. You know oh, what I mean? Kevin, that doesn't work. Kevin, sorry. Yeah. I don't think I. Andy? I don't know if I ever made a three personally. Andy. Yeah, guys, Tim's not oh, here. Do we second. raid the other channel now or what? No, no I'll I, tell you what. I happens. was the one who didn't want us to raid the other channel. You it's came time from. to why hear a word from fucking, our sponsors. Why do you, we already did the ads. Yeah, no, we already Andy, did that. The ads are done. Dude, the tugboat sponsors. There Greg, why are you such a fucking CEO right now? What do you mean? I'm showing Andy the. Greg, give me that fucking drink, dude. I'm gonna get it. Now. Can I pour it over ice or is that uncouth? Yes. No, oh my god. god. I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get a glass of ice and I'm gonna have some Mountain Dew Major Melon. They didn't sponsor this podcast, but they did sponsor my Twitter for a post. Get that uh, shit frozen. I was so jealous to see uh, Greg's Uh-oh. tweet. By the that's way, wrong. Nick. Oh, that's good, Greg. Oh, I, I was, was so cool. jealous to see Greg's tweet because I know that I saw Tim had a call with Mountain Dew, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and you know what I mm-hmm. think, Nick. Oh, this mm-hmm. is gonna be about me. Yeah, of course, you're the Mountain Dew guy. You Daddy and Andy's gonna get a bunch of Mountain Dew. No, MT. Too, unfortunately. So they don't like they don't like when you spot Mountain Dew anymore. They don't like spelling out Mountain anymore. It's MTN. It's too many words, too many letters. Yeah, they like just yeah. spelling out MTN, MTN D E W. I'm Mountain like, Daddy Times. Andy's gonna get a lot of dew. He's gonna get a lot of dew in his room. Mm-hmm. And then I see Greg's tweet. I was like, oh, that's what the tweet was about. And then Greg has not offered me any of the drink, and also Greg's. Probably just gonna throw it away like he did with the other Mountain Dew. God. What's annoying is he looks so good in the jersey. And he's slapping he does. black lamb. It's annoying. Slap it together. Greg, Let me you know, know how this you... is right here, Poppy. Let me see well, how this, you, uh, you this say, Mountain Kev? Dew goes. I was like, slap the little uh, red layout. Or it's got a good bouquet. Three, three candles. Oh, it looks good. Just slap it together. It's so easy. I can do that. Looks good. I can do that. Looks good. I can do that. Looks good. Makes me mad. Oh, you know what? I I did. I definitely sent one through at one point, Kevin. You just don't have it. All right, let me look for it. Hold on. Now, Greg, maybe add a little, a little, uh, I don't know, a little gin, a little tequila out of that. A little. Mm, no, vodka. with that, I would say vodka. Gin would be, actually might be pretty good with it, though. Yeah, Truth gin, I feel like, sounds really appealing. And I don't like I gin. Any, any, I feel like any clear liquor would be phenomenal with it. Maybe a bourbon. A bourbon might be good with it, too, though. Wow, that's good. I and for mean, the record, again, they, great? Did, they did not sponsor this. I've never had it though. And no, so, so here's it's, the it's thing. got it tastes like man. I mean, it tastes like watermelon, which is great, <laughs> but it doesn't. It's not overpoweringly watermelon, you know. Here's it's, why it's, it's so a very mellow sweet. Why it's so revolutionary is it's their new their new to stay flavor. This is not a temporary. It's called a lifelong flavor. Yeah, this is not a a USA type flavor where it's a seasonal thing, or it's not a the oh, what's the Halloween one they always come out with? Uh, uh Mountain Boo. Boom, never had it. You know. Never even seen it. You never seen that? Can I tell you something that's been chapping my hide lately? Mm. What's well, been chapping your hide? I'd prefer if you did. Yeah, please do. For the record, this is you know a safe spot. Tim's gone. He can't cancel any shows. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Well, I mean, I'm all I'm on all his shows. So he would just at this point he's canceled all my shows. So at this point he'd just be canceling shit that he's on too, and I don't think he wants to do that. Really? You don't think Tim wants to just have us all work really hard and he makes all the money? And he, I mean, first off, can we just address the fact that? He's like, all right, cool. I gotta go. It's been a good shit. Like, <laughs> can we do that? Is that something we can do? Can I we didn't double book? Uh, and he promoted the podcast he's going to go do while he left. Yeah. Am I allowed to do that? He's like, everybody, let's go check that podcast out. <laughs> Anyways, I'm about to go live on Twitch on my own channel, twitch.tv slash Tim Gettys. I'll talk to you guys later. Here, here, here's a bone I'd like to pick with the greater YouTube community. And Andy, please tell me this is one that I'm I'm willing to budge on if you think that I'm being unrealistic. 
I'm tired of seeing the facial reconstructions of this is theirs. We did it better. The side by sides of, hey, we can do oh, the Luke Skywalker thing yeah. better than Disney did it. Why? Stay in your lane, people. Yeah, I think it looked good. I thought it looked good. I, I mean, it looked, it looked great. Really it looked good. way better. It looked, it looked way, way better. I thought it looked but better. like, Andy, why doesn't this why? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what are you trying to prove? It's so not really Mark better. Hamill. Just a Mark stay Hamill. Stay in your lane. But like the like the don't Mark wear backward hats. It looked we had, all right. But it's but not like they're going to sub the footage, and they're not. Disney's not going to call you, but like, hey, that was so good. Can we just use that footage? But like, like fucking first made a billion dollars of all, they off very, you. They very well lane, could. It's, it's, I think it's a very strong possibility that like Disney's looking at, and they're like, who the fuck you guys did that? That does look better. Who the fuck just did that? Into this Get joke that with person, me, and I don't Get like that it. Hire them. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like when you guys won't hate things with me uh, for no reason. So I'm going to just. <laughs> I'm I'm you to be on board one. of just blindly talking shit about stuff. Yeah, <laughs> I don't. I thought that was. I mean, Tim's oh, sorry, gone, I thought we were, so. you, you, Oh, I didn't know. I didn't, I'm sorry. I didn't realize you wanted to have like. You just wanted to. I thought you wanted to have a conversation about. It. You just wanted us to jump blindly yeah, on no, it. Yeah, no, fuck no, those bad, guys. Louis. Thank you. Stop Thank you. doing sorry, it. I, Stay Kevin, in your I'm lane. sorry. I don't know why you don't have the right version of. I, it just um, this one doesn't match. No, you know what? I don't know. It does match. I just have to resize it. Looks like the first one. Close enough. I'm so. I, I'm not gonna touch anything. It's fine. We'll fix it whenever we need to. I'll tell you what. The logo though definitely. Is this to go is up. very nice. Full screen that. Why didn't you tell me it was this good? You know what to go really good with, Greg? Because chocolate chip cookie from Starbucks. Andy, what does it taste like? <laughs> it wouldn't. I don't think that would be. <laughs> it's it's watermelon, Kevin. It's like a Ooh, melon. But watermelon. it's a super mellow watermelon. I love watermelon. Where do we get this? You can go buy a store. Is it available at Seven Eleven. Yeah, 7-Eleven, definitely. 7-Eleven is going to be the ones that's going to be the easiest to find in Matt. Um, the stores that you have a little bit more trouble with, CVS, unfortunately. CVS is my mm -hmm. primary mm -hmm. shopping center. And I feel like they have, they're pretty basic with all their selections. You have, like, it, it's rare for me to find a Cherry Coke Zero. Coke Zero and spades. Cherry Coke Zero, kind of rare to find. Now, the other day, I did find giant-ass bags of the 3D Doritos, which I was pleasantly surprised. I wasn't expecting to see them there. Because, again, I just assumed CVS, they're just going to have regular Lay's, maybe sour cream if I'm lucky, and I don't mm -hmm. even want those either. But they have the 3D Doritos, and I feel like maybe it was an, a shipping order <laughs> or a mistake of some mm, sort sure, that sure. they didn't mean to get them. But, yeah, Kevin, 7-Eleven for sure. 7-Eleven always has the fire flavors, the brand new shit that, like, is the hotness that you got to go find, Nick Scarpino. It's just that nobody asked you to do it. You know, nobody asked you to do to redo the CG. No, You know what I mean? Oh, sure, yeah. Nobody asked you to do saying. it. It's bullshit, Nick. Honestly, Thanks, I agree Andy. with you. But here's Thanks. the thing: they just they percent. just wanted to prove they could, and they did. You gotta imagine Nobody someone's asked. just just he's he's got the time, you know. Good job. Did Work you your see way this up Greg? the system the, the right way? The Mark Hamill thing. Yeah, it's yeah, really yeah, impressive. I've seen those thumbnails. <laughs> Very impressive. It's, Very yeah, cool. it's really impressive. Oh, it's when really you see cool. it in action, it's even. Now the guy's wig, though, uh, Nick, not very Garbo. Impressive. Garbo. Okay. Well, they never are. Because here's the thing, are. the guy that they selected to be the body double uh -huh. cut his hair, and then they realized they needed to do reshoots. Oh, and so no. he had short hair, so they were like, we got to buy him a wig now. And the wig did not look as good as just his longer hair, the longer Mark Hamill mm -hmm. sort of hairstyle. Oh, that's that unfortunate. Went. It was really unfortunate. It was, kind of a, it was kind of a bummer. It's like when you're watching a really good documentary about the making of something, and they hit a snag in the road of like, our actor died. You know that sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. A classic. A little snack. snag in the road. Sna a little sna classic, just a little bump. Just a little, a little bump. Snafu. <laughs> the old snafu of your actor dying. Just a little thing you all get over. It's got a mustache. Maybe. Here's what I want to do. All right, I know we already did, and we'll have to be careful here. All right, no spoilers for One Division. All right, all right. We already right. did our One Division reactions today, but promises. we did get uh, a last minute topic submitted to Patreon.com/slash Kind of Funny from King Vin. That is this. My topic is. Kevin Feige, that is all. Do with this what you please. Can we just talk about how outrageously lucky we are to be living in the MCU era? Like, I think we all had that moment in the build-up to Endgame. You know, we were all doing uh, MCU in review. You're having these great movies. We're enjoying ourselves once a week. Then we get to Endgame. It's this cinematic experience unlike anything we've ever experienced, cinema's ever experienced. Everybody fucking going crazy and freaking out for Cap getting the hammer and, you know, so on and so forth. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
But then to get on the other side of it, you know, get another Spider-Man sure, but then go into 2020, everything shuts down, everything, you know, Black Widow's uh, pushed, everything's getting pushed, a year without Marvel stuff. And then to now have WandaVision drop, and not only drop, but be so fucking good. I cannot believe that they are able to keep going the way they go. Because even in that downtime where it was the blackout of 2020 for MCU stuff, there was that thing of like, at least we, I remember, I kept saying on shows, right? It's awesome that we got Endgame before this happened. Can you imagine if Endgame was the thing getting pushed over and over and over again? Oh, that was trying to figure out how, how it was going to end, right? But there was still that part of me too of just like, it was such a perfect ending that it was like, all right, cool. Like, don't get me wrong, I want more, but I'm, I'm, I don't find myself like enraptured with it. Whereas like right now you jump to today, right? Again, no spoiler for one division, but to be on the other side of that and be so desperate for more wants, I want the next episode right now so badly. I'm so excited for next week. Greg, <clears throat> if I may, I want to make a, a statement that I'm going to stand behind Go for the rest of my life. Go ahead. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm turning the floor over to Kevin Coelho, our representative from By kind of funny. Yeah. I think in 500 years, the people of the future are going to look back and they're going to think of Kevin Feige in the same way that we think of one Billy Shakespeare, you know, Mm. they're going to say back, they're going to be like, I can't believe you did all these things. You know, like look at all these, what a time to have been alive. Yeah. What a time. And it's just like, it's cool. Cause like we're enjoying it. You know what I mean? Like these, these stories being weaved together in front of us. It's, it's magical. God it's just magical. It. I never thought I'd feel the emotions the I felt last thumbnail. night. Oh, Andy, it's okay. If you find a better image with that. Well, Andy's worrying about that. I'd, I'd like to go ahead no, and apologize to Quarter Digital for talking shit. I didn't realize it was a Quarter Digital video. <laughs> Here it is. You find out they're like, popular. You find out they're was, a popular no, 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 place, and no. so now you're going to apologize. I, I, was, I, was, I, I made a joke, obviously. I was like, you guys aren't special effects artists. They are. They're... <laughs> We <laughs> worked on stuff before. So. Yeah, that's why it's, it's a really good video. <laughs> my bad, my bad. <laughs> they did a fantastic job. <laughs> I thought we told you about the video. Uh, no, I just I just see those popping up on my feet every once in a while, and I just, I'm just like. Uh, I knew that's the one you were talking about, but I I think yeah. at one point we asked you if you saw it, and you're like, no, but I had it spoiled for me. What happens? And then I was like, well, Corridor Digital showed. Um, they made an awesome video where. Um, they kind of reaffirmed my beliefs in how convincing these deepfakes can be because, again, whenever I see a bad CGI body double, my mind immediately goes to the Robert Downey Jr., Tom Holland, Back to the Future deepfake video that mm. came out and how Very fucking cool. just spot on and, like, eerie it was because it was so good and it was a little too real and it's like, oh, man, this is what the technology can look like. And then at the end of the day... You know, Disney Plus comes out with that very CG, awkward looking, dead eyes. Uh, it, well, they, I don't think re- that effect ever looks good. Let's be perfectly honest. Like, they, no one's ever nailed it yet. Like, you can always tell it's super fake, especially since I you know, know you're like, that's the fucking young Mark Hamill. It destroys your brain to even think about it. But, but I but... feel like the Terminator movie, the last one that came out with the young. Uh, oh, or short What's his face? No, not not him. It was he didn't the, talk though. He only said like two lines though. That's the, the problem. The kid. No, it's when no, people not, have to not, act in a John, John Connor. Arnold. Yeah, the oh, young John long? Connors, and it was just in it. Like he was just emoting as he gets shot. So yeah, he didn't talk. But holy shit, it looked good. It 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 looks good in short stuff, but it's always very awkward when someone has to do a whole scene and then they cut into the close up and you can just tell people the face just doesn't. It just never works. It has they they've never nailed it in my opinion, but it's all it's all it's interesting to see how they do this stuff, obviously. But sorry, Greg, to go back to uh, the Kevin Feige stuff. Yeah, it's ridiculous, and it's even more ridiculous that they're gonna they're somehow managing to keep this going um, on the cusp of this four hour. Snyder cut that we're about to get. I mean, I hate to say that, like, a fucking roller coaster of emotions for all of us. It's that thing where it's, yeah, I'm glad the MCU is having its time to shine again. I'm glad WandaVision is doing so well, but I'm also glad it's going to get the fuck out of the way and let a real auteur Zack Snyder come in and really show us what a superhero movie is meant to be. You know what I mean? I think when I think of auteur cinema, they need need nine Snyder. I think of Tarantino, Godard, like, yeah, uh, Truffaut, like, all of these amazing iconic storytellers who have really pushed the genre. Um, most of them, they push us on in the right direction. Some of them. <laughs> WandaVision needs nine episodes to get it done. Zach's doing it in one one thing. So there you go. But yeah. but my question is, are the nine episodes 22 minutes, Do uh, are they less time than uh, the four-hour epic 
that is going you know, to I be... prefer not to answer that question. I don't want to. <laughs> divide the grounds divide it might diffuse my topics. argument. I'm not going to answer that question. Greg, uh, how do you feel about these new images of... Yeah. Of um, Joker. Joker. Affleck there? And Joker. Oh, Jared Leto with the card up? Yeah. I'm, I feel good about it. Let's see what's up. It's interesting. I'm kind of conflicted I, on this. My thing with Jared Leto is... like. Anything attached to Suicide Squad, right? It's just garbage. Like, Suicide Squad's a bad movie, and they didn't use anybody appropriately. I think his Joker is not my favorite interpretation of the Joker. I do think he looks totally dumb with the face tattoos on it, but I think he's also very unsettling and creepy as fuck. Like, I would like to see what that looks like and to have seen that fleshed out. I would have I loved to have seen him actually go toe-to-toe with Batman in a Batman flick or, you know, some other offshoot where they did something with it. It's I don't... Nuts. I don't knee jerk hate it like to the point of like oh god not more of this like that's what we're getting if you know if we're sticking to the DCEU that's the Joker. It's not so much the characterization for me in this news release. It's the fact that they're adding the fucking Joker to a movie he wasn't in, and I know that they're also adding you know um, Dark Side, uh, Dark Side, but I feel like Dark was Side to be, was always yeah. kind of rumored to be the plan, right? Yeah. But with Joker, I I I know they've mentioned other people being a part of it, but. It, at, in what capacity could they add the Joker that would be additive to the experience? You know, like fleshing out how big the world is, I guess. Uh, showing is it going to be mean, like a random scene? Like Joke is here too, and then he. I like, think it's going to be. I, I mean, I know nothing about it. I'd imagine, yeah, he's in Arkham or something like that, and you're going to get some kind of interrogation scene from it. But who knows? Do you ever think that we're going <laughs> to? Where's it going, Andy? Where are we Do you at? ever think? Because I just got a, 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 a fucking smile just kind of washed over my face because I just thought of of Woody Harrelson as, as Carnage. <laughs> what a stupid yeah. fucking moment that I mean, was. Do you yeah. think we're ever going to get that? That's already filmed. Venom 2 is filmed. Venom 2 is in the can. They filmed Venom 2. Uh-huh. They did it here in San Francisco, if memory serves. Now you're I getting Woody Harrelson I mean, as Carnage. You're going to have a great time at Venom 2. You're going to sit there at your house all alone because, again, they're not going back to theater. Stop trying to make that happen. Everybody get on day day, day digital. Uh, if you're listening, any, everybody at, uh, in, 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 any of the Reitmans or Sony Pictures fucking put out Ghostbusters. Stop punting Ghostbusters into the sun. Just put the fucking thing out. Yeah, the, pro- the, the problem is the pro- we started this all by talking about like Kevin Feige. Right? Obviously, the cornerstone of what he's doing are these theatrical releases with these big budget just unbelievable experiences that you have to see on the big screen that like the second it comes out. And if we don't have those windows anymore, what does that look like for the more like the MCU really? Cause the rest of the, I, I don't think that there's anyone out there that are even coming as close to what Marvel has accomplished. And now with the new, these new shows that are popping off, Holy shit. It's just, they're adding whole new dimensions to the, to the universe that I'm super excited about. But they've, I, I mean, I, I'm, I'm split with you, Greg. I'm like, I've been enjoying these things that are coming to the living room. I don't necess- I don't need to rush to the cinema to see 90% of the movies that I end up seeing in the movie theater. Yeah. But man, I gotta see, geez, man, I gotta see Black Widow. And you know, these, these are movies that I do want to go into a theater and get a hot dog and hang out with the friends and stuff. The problem I have with that, Twix. and I, again, I, and I, by no means am I trying to come in and take away your enjoyment of something or something. Sure. I, I just feel like every time I like. When I'll celebrate, you know, renting Promising Young uh, Woman on uh, Early Access or whatever, or when I say I tweet about Ghostbusters coming out, so many people say, well, no, you can't do that because the millions of dollars that went into us and blah, blah, blah. And and it's, that's not the argument you're making right now, obviously. You're making it as what you want, how you want to enjoy these movies. But like my counter arguments to people who are like, no, no, these movies can't be experienced that way. And some creators for that thing, it's just like, your system is broken right now. Isn't, some money better than no money? How many theaters are going to be standing when we get to 2022 right. to actually but be able to do this? If there's no theatrical window left, I think the problem is that you can't put $200 million or $300 million behind a movie. You'll, you'll just never recoup that. Um, well, not until you know. figure out how to solve it. And that's the thing is that I feel yeah. like it's the normal thing of like, there's, you know, look at streaming video games, right? On live, now Stadia being fucked up. Like, it's not that this system doesn't work it's that nobody's figured out the system and if nobody's trying you're not going to get there and so like to see when disney was testing it with mulan or whatever mm-hmm. like that might don't get me wrong maybe that's not the way to do it and that's not what the best way to do it movie. Oh my God. but it's more about how do you actually do that to actually pivot to where the world is and where you're going to come back to and what kind it's of world tough. you're going to come back to i mean it's it's such a big machine though right and so much there's yeah. so much profit participation in that theatrical release like the guy that runs uh warner hbo has taken a ration of shit 
for his decision oh, just yeah. to cold turkey put everything on HBO Max, which I'm sure has really helped the subscribership, but it's not helping him in the Hollywood community. This is what Nolan understand. freaked out about. Yeah, Nolan was yeah, like, we signed Nolan up for a company pissed. that took care of it, but instead yeah. you wake up and we signed up for a premier movie distributor platform, and instead we woke up one day to a third tier uh, on-demand platform, you know, is where all our shit's going to be. Yeah, yeah. And no, I mean, Nolan obviously. definitely had way better reasoning because initially I hear those comments and I think, oh, Nolan, fucking get with the times, dude. You know, like, quit, get off your high horse. He's a big film guy, Nolan, right? That's immediately where my mind went to. But then when he further went into details of like, think of all the. Think of all the people that work on these movies. It's not just the actors or me. I'm thinking of the people in fucking craft services of the of all the people working with the grips, the the you know, all the smaller assistant production assistants that are going to suffer because of these decisions that will be out of jobs that will not have a consistent sort of, you know, uh, income. He's like that. That this is why I'm mad. I'm mad about that. Like these people are no longer going to be kind of consistently employed the way they used to be uh because i don't know of if i believe like that this. though yeah right? that's what i, I mean, don't get at all is that fact that, that they are out of work now and it's this idea of going back like the, like and this is what i've had i do not i'm not the you know movie dude and this is what the conversations i've had with people explaining to me why uh probably black widow won't you know ever do this and it's this idea of that Scarlett Johansson has points on the back end, so however the movie performs, she gets X amount of bonuses and shit like that. And I feel like that, like that's where you get into trouble with why these movies need to make this much. And granted, recoup your budget, obviously, is a different argument. But it is the fact that you have people, directors, uh, you have stars, movie stars that are in these things that are working on contracts that are based on a world that doesn't exist anymore, and I don't know when that's going to exist again. And so I, yeah, I, mean, I, I, you talk about like, you know, Nolan and I'm not familiar with his work. So I am coming off this very half cocked and very knee jerk reaction. Oh, I'm sure we're wrong about half this stuff. You talk about yeah. Nolan though, being like, oh yeah, I'm thinking about these people. It's like, well, no, a whole bunch of people need to think about the little people that are the craft services and take a few million less dollars, which I know is tough and not the industry signed up for or the director your career's had a yada, yada, yada. But it's like it's shit. You have to suck it up to make it work. Yeah, I don't, I don't buy the, the hey, think of a little person because when you start looking at the streaming, their, their output is ridiculous. And I'm pretty sure they pay the below the line people probably the exact same thing that those guys, maybe a little bit less than what they're making on on the bigger budget films. But like Netflix is releasing like a movie a week now or something like that, an original yeah. Yeah, yeah, Netflix yeah. movie per week. And you're going to tell me that's not giving the craft service people, you know, more work and more opportunity to do their trade. Um, really what it boils down to is that Warner Brothers and all these companies, especially Warner Brothers, was like, hey, we're going to give you a theatrical release and they just can't deliver on that promise and I would be pissed yeah. off too. Um, and obviously they have a right to be pissed off for profit participation as well. Like, I, I don't, I, you know, you can say what you will and be like, oh, boo-hoo, you're a millionaire and you're not getting more millions. But at the same time, if someone owed, if, if that's what I thought was going to have happen, I mean, that's kind of a big letdown. I would I would probably have a thing or two to say to the head of, of Warner about that too. Be like, hey man, where's what the hell? Like I made you this movie. This was the deal you were supposed to put out in theaters. Um, but it's just when, when, at what point do you, do you just cut it and go, Hey dude, it's been two years now. Like, yeah, exactly. You know, we can't keep throwing millions of dollars and changing the date behind this promotional stuff and putting out in theaters and just to have this limit. It's just not that, that, that pipeline is just so corrupted right now and fucked up that we just can't keep doing it. Uh, meanwhile, you've got Kevin Feige out there just thinking, fu playing fucking chess while everyone else is playing checkers. And he's like, well, okay, well, let's just pivot and make awesome TV shows that are like like nothing anyone's ever seen before. And you're like, all right, cool. Well, even beyond that, right, they are still making movies. Like we saw the you know the image of uh, uh, Hemsworth and Chris Pratt from uh, Thor Love and Thunder, Jesus. right? Like, and I, but it, it comes oh, down boy, to like, I don't, we. what are those contracts and what is the actual plan for that? Like at what point do they break and put Black Widow up and just let it go? I don't know. I mean, it's, I don't know. I mean, the, there's going to be lawsuits for sure, for specifically on the HBO and Warner side. I would not be surprised if they already haven't been filed. I'm, I'm sure they have. But I'm sure people are going, hey, you've got lots of money that you owe us now, Warner. Like, what the hell? We were supposed to get profit participation for this stuff. So that's going to be a reckoning, and it's going to take years to probably sort out. Um, but I don't know. You know, I mean, Netflix is, is, is destroying everyone. So maybe th this might have been a very bold history might remember um the head of warner for being a bold visionary at this time of just like and brute forcing this similar to how like steve jobs used to brute force shit and force everyone to be in the apple ecosystem and then yeah. everyone's like oh my god this guy's a fucking tyrant and then 40 years later we're all like multi-trillion dollar company apple we all have apple devices so who the hell knows maybe hbo 
becomes the streaming service du jour in two years because of that one move and everyone just follows suit. But Christopher Nolan's probably not going to work with him ever again. <laughs> I'm sure he's shopping his next project around to everyone but Warner. That's the Kind of Funny that. podcast, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. We have a post show to do. Of course, you can get on patreon.com slash kind of funny where you can also, of course, be part of the show with your questions, your comments, your concerns. You can watch it ad for you. You can get it with the post show we're about to do. You can watch it live as we record it, just like Jonathan is, Nick is, uh, Omega Buster is. Uh, no matter where you get it, thank you for your support. Remember, you can also get it on youtube.com slash kind of funny podcast services around the globe in roosterteeth.com. Until next time, let's get to that post show.